Let me let you in on a secret. You can still enjoy Art Basel weekend without spending a single dollar. That's what today's video is gonna be about. We're gonna go all around Miami Beach, checking out all the free exhibits for Art Basel weekend, and we're not gonna spend a single dollar. Our first piece of art is right behind Fiona Hotel, right on the sand, free and open to the public through Sunday. It's called Machine Hallucinations Coral. It's actually an NFT just displayed on the beach. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna ride a little further south on this cool platform they added to the beach and check out some more installations that are completely free. This next one is actually called Hall of Visions. It's inspired by ancient Egypt, among other things. There's actually an NFT of this. So if you come over here, which is a little further south than where we just were, I think we're on 32nd or 31st. Shoes are off and now we're gonna walk right through the temple. This next one is right inside of the Fayana pool area. I'm gonna include this in the video, but this is actually a permanent piece that they keep here on property. If you guys want to read about it, it's called Gone But Not Forgotten. It's made out of glass, gold, PVD covered stainless steel, powder coated steel, rubber, gold leaf, and mammoth skeleton. Actually, I was mistaken. There was a giant iceberg laying in the pool on November 30th only right inside this pool but as you can see there's nothing there because we're a few days late so let's keep looking we are inside our next free installation the Saint Laurent installation on 17th and the beach so it's various New York Times covers the lighting might be a little weird with various shades of colors different hues with the headlines GOP leaders begin to break with Trump this one doesn't have a headline it is dated January 16 2021 January 21st, democracy has prevailed, Biden vows to mend the nation. So these are actual headlines and uh, the art pieces covering most of the front page. Seems like that's all this is. You can kind of get a little bit of the original newspaper. Now there is a line wrapping around the whole place, but you can just walk right in if you just want to see the art pieces. If you want the artist to sign your merch then this is what the line is for he's right here signing it we are in line to get our free tote bag signed by the artist himself completely free hi how are you hi thank you you ran out of bags right uh i think so yeah no bags okay that's perfect thank you thank you guys now i have to carry this because they ran out of bags <laughs> All right, after waiting in line, unfortunately they ran out of bags, but we do have the artist's signature on his own piece. I'm not sure exactly what's inside, if it's just his information or, or whatever, but we have it. It's just gonna be difficult to transport around because I'm on bike. Check out the line as we exit. This isn't one of my planned stops, but over here on 15 in Alton, they have a school bus with some art on it, as well as a tarp with more art on it, so. Various photo opportunities here. It's right outside of this hotel. Let's keep moving. Over on Espanola Way, you'll find the Little Cloud Sky by artists, friends with you. It is another free installation that you can take a bunch of photos with. A lot of people gather down here and take pictures. Uh, it is a cute little setup here for Art Week. To get here, the strip with all the restaurants is off of Washington Ave and Collins Avenue is that way, so it'll be right between both streets. Something I didn't immediately notice is that the buildings to the left and to the right are painted as another sky. Gives you that immersive experience. And great for photos, you got the palm trees also. Pit stop just outside of Art Basel at the convention center is City Hall. They have this cool little snowflake. Anyway, it's a good photo opportunity. Now, welcome to Art Basel traffic. We've made our way just outside of the convention center, home of Miami Beach is Art Basel, so there's a ton of people coming and going. Directly outside of it, they do have some things you could take pictures with. It's called Tomorrowland. It says, let's play. Even the cars are a design. <laughs> Pretty cool. I have to take an elevator to go up. Not sure which floor to stop in, but... Um, oh, I guess right here.
Our next spot is called The Smell of Pink, 100% free. We have a skatable park right on this block, the entire block full of ramps and things to grind on if you have a skateboard. I don't, but we have a mountain bike. We're going to sign the waiver online and we're going to go over these little ramps. hundred percent free this is a skatable piece of art I mean it's so cool everything from like big ramps to small ramps to just little lumps on the road to even a rail that you can grind if you have a skateboard or if you have little pegs on your bike uh, this is so cool this is on 35th Street and Collins Avenue right nearby where we just were at the Faena looking at pieces of art go look at art for free go skate for free of course sign the waiver and be careful as you can see I'm the only person here so this is technically a hidden gem if you're a skater or or someone who likes to ride BMX bikes and do tricks. There's not as much as you would find in a skate park, but this is sick. This is literally, you're skating on art. All right guys, I showed you several free things you can do in Miami Beach throughout this whole art week into Art Basel weekend, which means everything that I showed you more than likely will be ending on Sunday, this Sunday, December 5th. So take advantage of all of it. All the information to everything I showed you today will be in the description and I'll include articles, links to their own website so you guys can get everything from the hours and days that they are open. Now, after showing all of this to you guys, all I ask is that you give a thumbs up to this video and that you subscribe and even go the extra step of going and hitting the bell button because you'll be notified every time I upload a new video and it means a lot to me, it helps the channel out. So thank you so much from Miami Beach. Keep on partying. See you guys in the next video.